when we add fractions we want to have the same number on the bottom in this case we have a 3 and a 4 these must be converted to have the same denominator now one method you can try is if you write down the 3 times table and the 4 times table you find what is called the lowest common multiple L C M which means that we can convert the bottom of both fractions into twelfths however the three has occurred one, two, three, four times it has been times by four so we times the top by four as well two, four, six, eight and get eight twelfths the four has been written down one, two, three times so the top will be one, two, three times. Well, three times one, one, two, three, is three twelfths. We then keep the denominator, and eight plus three is eleven. Subtracting fractions obey the same principles. You can write down the five times table. and the 15 times table but they overlap straight away at 15 that is the lowest common multiple so we can convert to 15's well the 5 occurred once, twice, three times so that has been times by 3 so we must times the top also by 3 and 3 times 3 is now, the bottom of this fraction only occurred once, so we times the top by 1. 1 times 1 is 1. We keep the same denominator, and 9 take away 1 is 8. also add and subtract mixed fractions. We can deal with the large numbers first. 3 plus 4 equals 7. So we have dealt with those already. But the third and the 5 twelfths must be done as normal fractions. So 1 third plus 5 twelfths we have to convert them into the same denominator which after some practice if you write down a 3 times table 3, 6, 9 and 12 and your 12 times table they overlap at 12 this is the lowest common multiple so we put them both over 12 that occurred 4 times so times the top by 4 we get 4 twelfths we got 5 twelfths that's not changed so this part here 4 plus 5 we get 9 so 12 and then from before the 3 and the 4 gave us 7 so we write it as 7 and 9 Subtraction obeys the same rules. 3 take away 2. They are doubled. Then 7 and 14. We write down our 7 times table, our 14 times table. The lowest common multiple is 14. So 1 7 take away 3 fourteenths 14 is the lowest common multiple so that is 2 fourteenths minus 3 fourteenths 
since that fraction there has been doubled. 2 take away 3 is minus 1 over 14. We then bring together all the parts. 3 take away 2 is 1. And at minus 1, 14. That's a bit clumsy, but imagine a whole 1 with 1, 14 removed, we're left with 13, 14. That is the correct answer for that question.